Uh, I know we were talking about photography yesterday. Today uh, we've got uh, a young man in the studio. He's Adam Jacobs, and he's been lucky enough to, to photograph lots of very, very famous people and events, from Nelson Mandela to the Olympics, um, World Cup football, all sorts of things. But uh, even leaving his room for Adam was impossible only a few years ago, and he's here to tell us uh, why and how photography uh, has been an absolute lifeline for him. What, what is your illness? Um, so I suffer with a illness called uh, POTS, posterior orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, along with chronic daily migraine, um, which is precisely really what it sounds like on the tin. Um, mm. Having a migraine, which is a lot more than a headache, 24-7. Uh, um, suffering with sensitivity to light, sound, uh, even to touch, um, and have been suffering that with that for almost 12 years now. Um, but got into photography um, through actually having this illness. I originally was going to be a banker and work in the city, um, but um, ended up um, through quite a long story. I um, was going to start my university degree at Nottingham and became unwell, um, had one migraine, uh, which morphed to two to three till eventually I had one of these migraines 24-7, uh, left me laying in a dark for um, almost two years, completely debilitated, um, unable to watch television, look at a computer, even eat a meal with my family because the sound of cutlery clinking sounded to me like a steam train going past. Um, and I was fortunate enough that Unfortunately, actually, after two and a half years of not being able to really make any progress, I went to America for treatment. Um, and while there, I um, was in an expert center for head pain, chronic head pain. Um, and when I came out of the hospital, um, I started doing very small, menial tasks that to you guys would seem like nothing, going to a coffee for five minutes, going to the grocery store for five minutes. But at the time, like me, was climbing Mount Everest. Um, and I was in a place called Ann Arbor, a small collegiate town. Um, but what's there is America's largest stadium, 113,000 people for collegiate sport. Just when you're, just when you're telling us, I continue that story, I'm just getting our director to run the photographs that you're, that you're known for and that you've taken, but please, yeah. please continue. So this, this, so this photograph, I was one of my tasks that I went when I'd first come out of the hospital. Um, and this is the Michigan Stadium, um, as I said, for collegiate sport. I went and took this photograph and um, I went to take it into a photo store to be developed and the lady came out and I was studying economics at the University of Nottingham, never really considered a career in photography. Um, and when I went to, to, went to pick it up, um, she came out and said, I hope you don't mind me asking, but are you a professional photographer? And I looked at her like she was nuts. And you thought, no, but good idea, could be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. These, these are some of the amazing people that um, you have been able to photograph um, since um, all yeah. of this. Um, I mean, it really has been a remarkable journey through getting so unwell. Um, my life, it completely threw a spanner in the works of my life, took my life in a completely U-turn direction. How did, uh, you, how did you get these people to pose for you? Because so, I know Andy Murray, and I, I, I don't think photography is his favourite thing. No, I mean, in fact... He, he looks <laughs> I was, comfortable there. Yeah, um, I mean, part of my job is obviously getting people to relax, and it's being a people person. That's a big part of being a photographer, not only working with light and understanding the technicalities of it, mm -hmm. but also getting such luminaries and well-known people as Andy Murray, and I was fortunate enough to... Uh, be in an office with be in Nelson Mandela's office with just himself and President Clinton. Um, but it's getting these people, whether they're very well known celebrities or um, I photograph, done stories on the homeless or whoever it may be, is making these people feel comfortable and making okay. them feel like you're they're, they're, they're your friend. Um, well, but Adam, uh, with that uh, view of Sarah Jamie's bedroom <laughs> behind you there, <laughs> so, uh, left in a bit of a rush this morning. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's no, it's no problem. <laughs> it's no problem at all. But it's actually what's interesting is 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 I find for me that the photography has been almost therapeutic. Of course. Um, and this series that I've done, what you see that photograph behind me, um, is actually used to be America's uh, largest car plant and is now completely abandoned. And I've done a series, I find the photography quite meditative and quite therapeutic. Um, and this Abandoned Spaces series, which I've released um, a limited number of series of which are available on my website, um, which is adamjakesphotography.com, with proceeds going towards the Migraine Trust and the Autonomic Charitable Trust. Well, good luck.
to you Thank in you. your continued recovery um, from, from all of this and, uh, and what you're trying to do in such enjoyable photography born out of such a, a bad thing. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank Adam you. Jacobs and he's the man with the camera. Uh, the woman with the weather, Joe Wheeler.